Well, good morning. What an awesome privilege to be here this morning for a time to dedicate children to the Lord. Amen. For without the children, without uh, having others to come up after us, preaching the gospel, sharing the word, believing, we wouldn't know what would ever become of our faith. So we must have these children. We must have these children. I want to share just a a word with you uh, before we have uh, these families come up. You know, there's a certain excitement of the birth of a child. You know the story of Christmas. You know how exciting that was for everyone around. But it's even more exciting when a child is born again and comes to know Christ as their Savior. And it's the responsibility of the parents, not the church, to make sure they grow up and understand who Jesus is. So this morning, as we bring these families up in just a moment, and as you sit out there and you may have children of your own, maybe they're uh, younger children, maybe they're adolescents, maybe they're grown. But you know, one day we'll look back and say, wow, I wish I would have, I wish I would have. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to be that guy. But now I'm that guy. I wish I would have, I wish I would have. It's never too late. But this is why we're here this morning, is to stand alongside these parents as a church, as a church, to say we love you, we support you, and we're with you. Pastor Jerry, would you pray for us? Amen. You know, we read from God's Word in Deuteronomy chapter 6, beginning in verse 4. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. He lets us know who is our God. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I am giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are on the road, when you are going to bed and when you are getting up. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. That should tell us how important it is that we teach this truth and these truths in this word to these children, that we raise them in a godly home. Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. He is watching us. We are training him up the way that we are, like it or not. So this morning, as we prepare to dedicate these children, man, what a blessing. Can you imagine 40 years from now, if one of the children on this stage is standing up here bringing the word? Can you imagine if one of these children is the minister to students? Can you imagine if one of these children is the children's director or serving in children's? One of these students may be driving the golf cart, bringing you in. I hope I get to ride one of those one day. Forty years from now, I'll be good with that if I can get on a golf cart and get in here. You see, that is why we're here. 
is so that we can teach them to serve parents. They will watch you as they grow up and whether they serve in the church or not may be because of whether you serve or not. They may sit beside you every Sunday and it may be that they never see you out on a Sunday serving. Maybe you should set that example. So this morning as we dedicate these babies, be mindful of that. Be mindful of a life worth following. A life worth serving. And let them see that. So this morning, parents, I have some questions for you. And if you agree with these questions, please respond by saying, we do. Parents, do you recognize these children are gifts from God who belong to God and that He desires that you raise them in His love? Do you promise to raise them with love, patience, discipline, instruction, modeling Christian adulthood, for them daily in all that you say and all that you do at home and while you're away from home. And finally, will you pray for them and with them, teaching them the ways of our Lord, warning them about the folly of this sinful world and the snares in which the enemy has laid. Church, I want to ask you three questions. Do you recognize these children are gifts from God who belong to God and that He desires that you support this family as they raise them in His love? Do you agree to give of your time, service, volunteering, your talents, and your finances where needed to ensure that these children and many others will be able to discover Christ by hearing your teaching, seeing your service, and watching your life. Do you agree to pray for them and with them, teaching them the ways of the Lord, warning them of how harsh the world can be and the snares that the enemy has laid for them? At this time, would you pray for, with me? Father, we love you so much. We thank you for these families. God, I pray that these families would understand the immense responsibility that there is on them. Lord, to raise that child in a Christian home, that that's where they truly learn to pray and have faith and to love and to be kind and to forgive. And Lord, that may, they may understand this morning that this ceremony is only about dedicating them and this home to the Lord. It does nothing for their salvation, but through all of our modeling and the modeling of these parents, we know that salvation will come if we do our part and we're obedient and we pray and seek you and that you one day will knock on the door of their heart and that they will answer if their heart is right and ready. And Lord, we thank you for that. And Lord, we just want to tell you that we love you and we praise you in Jesus' precious name. And all God's people said, Amen. All right, at this time we have a gift for each family and each child. Uh, it has a Bible, their first Bible in there. It also has a couple of books that the parents can use to kind of remember some things and some things to look for because no matter what our kids are going through, we have to remember it's just a phase. And you'll be hearing more about that in the weeks and months to come. And it also has a letter in there that I have written to each of the children to be opened on the day that they receive Christ. And I'm so excited for that very day. So at this time... We'll call out the children's names, the parents' names, and we have those gifts for them. And if you would, at the end of, of getting their gift, would you just give them a round of applause for standing up here, being willing to say, Hey, my family is coming here this morning to dedicate this child. We're going to be here. We're going to be here on Sunday. We're accountable to you. We're accountable to our child, but we're accountable to God. And that's a tough thing to do, stand up here and lay it all out. Some people say, well, I don't like the spotlight. Stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. 
I'm going to keep talking because these children are that important. Amen? Amen. All right. First on our list. Emmett Hefner, parents Patricia Bobrich and Brandon Hefner. Hendricks Bruce, parents Courtney Price and Chris Bruce. Congratulations. Love you guys. Congratulations. Lila White and Cooper Huffman, parents Miranda White and Adam White. Cora Hefner, Hannah Hefner, and Jordan Hefner. Did you take both of them? Wow. Cambry Finger, parents Shelly Michael and Cavario Finger. James Michael Pennell, parents Andrea Pennell and Eric Pennell. Slid down the line. Sorry. Love you guys. Proud of you. Peyton Brown, parents Dakota Brown and Ben Brown. Congratulations. Appreciate you guys. All right. There we got left here. Okay, that should be good. All right. Before we finish, let us now just pray, and then we're going to stand and worship the Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you so much for the blessing of these children. Lord, may we never get tired of having children cry and run and race and get into things. Let us be patient as you are with us. Lord, let us never worry about the pain on the walls, the messes that are left behind. But Lord, let us cherish that time. And raise them as you have led us in our lives, Lord. You've been long-suffering and brought us to you. Let us be that parent. Let us be that church. In Jesus' name, we dedicate these children to you, Father. Amen. Amen. Let's give them one more round of applause.